final stand. Good or bad? Now in this video, I wanted to kind of give my first impressions of the DLC. Um, now before I start, just to clear, I am usually a very positive person when it comes to Battlefield related stuff. I always tend to see, to look at the positive sides. But I gotta be honest with you guys, with this DLC, I, I'm kind of disappointed. And I know that some of you guys might really enjoy the DLC, but personally, I'm not one of those people. And I think I've got some solid reasons as of why I believe that this DLC is one of the worst produced in the life cycle of Battlefield 4. So anyways, let's go ahead and dive straight into the first reason, and that is that there are no new weapons in this DLC. So in all the previous DLCs, there has always been five new weapons, which, you know, that was always fun. Um, getting to unlock new things, getting to play with different weapons, and um, yeah, just the general uh, refreshing experience of having something new to play with. And for me, that is something that lacks into this DLC. Now I know that there's going to be a bow, but um, as of right now, we can't play it in a, in a normal server. You can only play it on PC in an unranked server where everything is unlocked. So as of right now, I'm not counting the bow into any new weapons because I haven't been able to play with it. So um, maybe, maybe once we get to play with it, it will make up for all the five weapons that were lacking. But as of right now, I am kind of disappointed that there are no new weapons. Now, the second reason is because there's no new game mode. So for all the other DLCs, there has always been that one new game mode that um, was always refreshing to play. It kind of it kind of just went away as soon as the DLC launched after a couple of weeks. Um, nobody played any of the new game modes anymore. But still, I think it's good cool to see DICE put effort into making a new game mode. And as some of you guys might remember, there was an interview with a dev of DICE um, early on before Battlefield launched, saying that, um, in, that in that interview he said, that all the game modes from Battlefield 3 would be there in Battlefield 4. And as of right now, that is not the case, because Gun Game is still not in Battlefield 4. So I was kind of disappointed to see no new game modes added with this DLC. Now, to kind of break the um, negative cycle that we're in right now, um, I would just wanted to say that, um, yeah, I've got some positive things to say about this DLC. Um, for one, the real gun. I, I mean, you, see, you can see it in this gameplay, and... Um, Honestly, this weapon is so much fun to play with. I was kind of scared that it was going to be OP, but um, it isn't, and it's a whole lot of fun to play with. And I'm, I'm grateful for DICE for putting that in. It, it's an awesome thing to play with. I can't say that enough. Now, the other thing is that um, these snow maps, they, they, they look gorgeous. I mean, it's just, it's visually, it's astonishing. I, I'm really impressed with um, the general look and feel of the maps. Now another thing is the bipod knife. I mean, I mean, how cool is that? It was introduced by the Battlefield Friends series as a Colonel Level 100 unlock, and I think that that is so cool that Dice actually listened to that and gave us a shit bucket bipod knife. So all of your shit buckets, including me, um, can now get a bipod on your knife. I mean, that is really awesome. Now, um, now to get back at my original topic, why I don't really like this DLC. Um, another reason is because Rush is horrible. I mean, playing Rush on these maps, it's really, really bad. The maps are way too big and the, there's barely any cover and, you know, it's unbalanced. Um, for example, the first base on Hangar 21, it's practically impossible for the attackers to push up. And for me, as a person that um, usually plays Rush, and I think that Rush is one of the most fun game modes um, in the Bellevue game, this is very, very disappointing for me. I mean, I was kind of expecting it because Rush wasn't the best in the Battlefield, but in this DLC, I think it's even worse than, um, than in the vanilla maps. So I know that the maps are very big, and um, obviously for Conquest, that is going to be a good thing. I mean, people that are really into Conquest, I think that um, this DLC for them uh, might be very, very right. But for me, as a person that doesn't really play much Conquest and mainly focus on the infantry plays, this was kind of a letdown to me. Now these big maps then bring me back to another point, which is that there's no evolution, or there's barely any evolution. I mean, there's um, one where the roof crashes, but there aren't any major or game-changing evolution things that really alter the um, the flow of the map. Um, because I, I could really see some great potential here. I mean, most, most of the maps are snow maps, so how cool would it be if, um, if there was just this giant avalanche 
crushing down on the map and covering then the whole map in snow. So before it would be just, just ground and rocks and after the avalanche it would turn into a snow map. I mean I see so much potential here and, and to not see that happen, um, I mean... All I can say is that they uh, they could have done much more with um, with the weather and the evolution stuff. But um, yeah, to sum it all up, um, I basically feel that this DLC is lacking some of the um, some of the issues that um, I described in this video. But maybe you think otherwise, and that is totally fine because we're all friends here. But let me know in the comments what you'd like or dislike about this DLC. I'm really curious to read all of your comments. But um, anyways, the video is coming to an end right now, and if you enjoyed the video then don't hesitate to hit the like button, because it really does help me out a lot, and even though, even though it turned into a rant, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. But um, anyways, this was Iper, and I thank you all for watching. Face